All right, guys, I want to just quickly go over uh, how to get started on word problems. So in these questions here, all of them are going to ask you to either multiply or divide. The first step for figuring out any of these is to figure out, is this a multiplying question or is this a dividing question? So the start, uh, or sorry, the first question says, you have 24 cookies and want to share them equally with six people. How many cookies would each person get? So when you're looking at this question, you need to, to really look over it closely. What is this question asking you? Are there any clues on whether this is a multiplying question or a dividing question? For me, the biggest clue here is this word share. It says, if you are going to share things between different people, that means you're going to be dividing them up between different people. All right? So that would tell me that this is a divide question. Now, when you're doing this step, I need to multiply or divide. There's a couple of choices you can do. You can just scratch out multiply and say, I need to divide. Or if you wanted to, you could also just circle, I need to divide. Now, the next step is to figure out what your equation is. I have 24 cookies and I want to share them equally with six people. My equation is 24 divided by six equals. Now my next step is to figure out what 24 divided by six is. So if I think, well, I know that one six is six and two sixes is 12. Oh, that means two more sixes will also be 12. 12 plus 12 is 24. So altogether I have four sixes. So 24 divided by six is equal to four. The last step I would have is my sentence. I need to answer the question. It says, how many cookies would each person get? So each person would get, didn't quite give myself enough space here. Each person would get four cookies. So that's how we can do number one. For the rest of them, let's say some are multiply, some are divide. Take a look. Are there clues on whether it's a multiplication or a division question? All right. Good luck, guys. I'll go over this with my next video.